Hello everybody, this is Lily Cole 15 welcome back to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time, we took on the Pokemon League and became a champion with this team. Darn it, these two are really like, strong now. Except for Acrobatics, didn't even get a level up. Poor her. Everyone else got one. Even my Dragon Slayer. And oh, oh I'm old up. I, I need to do this. So. Oh no, I thought you get ribbons for. I thought you get ribbons for. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, never mind. I was just swapped to uh, Acrobatics. But in this episode, we're gonna. Get our, we're gonna go a couple places because now we're in the post game. First off, mom is here to talk with us. Hi, Club Professor Owen told me that he has something to give you. Okay, just go to him right now. Sure. Yeah, we're back. My goodness, I really just don't like this display. But if we go to him, Professor Elm, We'll get something. Glenn, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. So we've obtained the SS ticket, and you're probably wondering where do we use this? You'll find out. The ticket will let you take the fast ship that departs from all of NC. But you knew that already, Glenn. After all, you have, you have, you've adventured all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak in Kanto. So yeah, we can go to all of NC. The part or ticket, and we can go to Kanto. However, we are not gonna go there. We're gonna do some other stuff instead, though. Actually, I don't know if I wanna. Okay, let me say something. I might do some rematches instead because I am recording this on a Wednesday afternoon or morning. However, the thing is, there's something I can do on Thursday that I wanna do instead, but at the same time, I wanna at least take care of something today. At the very least, we're gonna go to Volvan City and pick up our uh, Untouchable Professor Oak. Oh, because he is waiting for us there. And we can do a lot more stuff. We can go to the Safari Zone. We can basically do whatever we want now in the post game. Some areas are now accessible to us that I'm not gonna go over. But if we go over here, Professor Oak will be waiting for us. Hello! You're starting to have the attitude of a champion, Glud. It's time for your Pokédex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokédex for a second. I'll create your Pokédex with the National Mode. So now we have the National Dex. However, I'm sure uh, it's... Uh, he says something about catching. But, however, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. He's big. I think he has to get all the Pokémon in the National Dex, which... No, that's not happening. Oh, time flies. I have a radio show to record at Goldenrod Radio Tower. You must be heading to Kanto. If you come near Palatown to drop, do drop by my lab research lab, Pokemon research lab. But yep, now we have the National Dex. That means we can do some more stuff than we ever, we can do a lot more stuff now. Meaning, we can go to Safari Zone to do some cool stuff. We can go to the bug catching contest, which I'm going to do that next episode most likely. But in this episode... What I'm planning to do is go over a bit of bios because there's one little thing we can do with the with the national decks. First off, I'm gonna fly to a tower. So I'm gonna see how much I can travel around. I'm first gonna go to Vibe City right now. I don't wanna meet you guys there because I'm already gonna go there. I'm gonna fly to Vibe City because there's a couple of new features we have we had now with the national decks. Maybe we can catch Pokemon from Hoenn Sinnoh based on you know where you are. And Violet City, I'm hoping it is Violet City anyway, I, mean, I don't know why it wouldn't be. But Violet City, these are poke there are Pokemon in these games that you can obtain through a method called Swarm. And, uh, oh well, uh, this is a bit of a spoiler, but... But yeah, uh, I should mention this as well. On Pokemon Music, on Wednesdays, Hoenn Music will be playing, meaning you can catch Pokemon when you hear this music. And this is the music from the first round of Hoenn. But yeah, you can actually find Hoenn Pokemon in areas we've been before. Uh, you can find Hoenn Pokemon based on areas we've been before and based on where you're located. I'm going to Vod City. I'm already about to because there's some things you can do here. But like, whenever you go to the Pokemon music on Wednesdays, Hoenn Pokemon might appear based on where you are. It's just a lure to bring in Hoenn Pokemon. I'll go over a few Hoenn Pokemon right 
Now, mother... Come on! Okay. Okay, uh, let me... Alright, let me explain. You can find Hoenn Pokemon with this little music, and only on Wednesdays. On Thursdays, it's Sinnoh Pokemon. I might go over that in the next episode. Depends. But I'm back here in Sprout Tower because... There are a couple Pokemon we can find in the in towers only. There are five. The Pokemon are grouped on five areas. I forget what they all are, but I know one of them is towers. The other are grasslands. I'm pretty sure it's grasslands, caves, towers, forests, and I forget the last one to be honest. I don't think it. I want to say something to do with water, but at the same time, I kind of doubt it. But there are areas, at the very least. The forests, uh, there's Elix Forest, but then there's also one more forest we'll be going in Kanto. So these Pokemon will not be going over until Kanto. However, these first couple Pokemon are exceptions that I'm going to be going over now. Because they're only found in towers, and Jodar is the only region with towers in these games. You know, because Lavender Tower or something like that, Pokemon Tower in Kanto, we're not going to be able to do anything there. So let's go over the Pokemon you can find in Towers. With the Hoenn sound and the Sinnoh sound. I'll go over the Sinnoh sound later, but I'm telling you, the Sinnoh sound does work uh, on Thursdays. So with the Hoenn sound, the first Pokemon you can find in Towers is Zigzagoon. To be honest, I don't recommend getting Zigzagoon right now. Why is that, you ask? Yeah, Pickup's a cool ability, and yeah, it's the Rodent of Hoenn, and Pickup is a good ability, and that's what Centaurus is known for. First off, I wouldn't even get in the belt and the sprout tower. Get at the bell tower because you can get higher leveled. But I wouldn't catch it because you can get its evolved form in other la areas later on. I'm telling you. I'm not saying that's a bad Pokemon at all. I okay, no, no, no. It's stats wise, it is pretty weak. All it is at best is HM Slave for Hoenn and Pickup is what's also known for. You can get higher levels in bell tower, but you can get its evolved form later in a bit as well with the Hoenn sound. I'm not going to go over the evolved form for a while. I don't think you need to catch it unless you like wanting a Pokedex. Not much else to say for this guy. I'll go over as a Pokemon when I get to the Vault Four instead later on. But if you want it, just get a, a Bell Tower. Next Pokemon you can find with the Hoenn sound is Spinda. What do I say about this Pokemon? Bad. Like, really bad. It's move pool isn't actually the worst thing ever. Like, it has a not bad move pool for a normal type. Then again, this isn't the best either. Its stats are pathetic. 60 on every stat is just bad. Both its abilities are not very good, and it's basically just outclassed by any normal type. Remember Dunsparce? That normal type I said that was pretty average, and uh, not average, and like, just a huge move pool miss potential. Yeah, Dunsparce outclasses this thing. The only interesting thing about it knows Teeter Dance, but really, I can't say anything else about it good. It's bad. Don't get it. Only get it if you want in your Pokedex. No other reason to get it otherwise. One of the worst Pokemon of all time. Like, really, one of the worst. Next new Pokemon through the Sinnoh Sounds, you can get Metatite. Why on earth do you get this with Sinnoh and not Hoenn when it's a Hoenn Pokemon? I have no idea. I mean, I get you can find it in the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, but like, why? Why would the Sinnoh sound? Okay, now to Meditai as a Pokemon. Its stats aren't very good, and it's uh, designed to be a bit of a mixed attacker with pretty weak stats fully evolved. However, the one thing it has going for it is its ability Pure Power, which doubles its attack stat. It's similar to Meryl's ability, where it doubles the attack stat. This thing also has it. Has it. However, there are a couple, there is a, like, there is, just like Meryl, it's move full. Meditate's move full isn't bad to level up. High jump kick with huge power is pretty good. And it does take a long time for it to evolve, unfortunately, so that's there. But, at the very least, unlike Meryl, this thing does have actual good, more than a couple more moves to use. Like the elemental punches and... I don't remember. Unfortunately, it does miss out on psychic moves and physical psychic moves. It doesn't get any through level up. Zen Headbutt is a move tutor move, and Psycho Cut is a breeding move. Yeah. I can't really recommend this Pokemon much just because of that. But if you're still looking for a fighting type for some reason this late in the game, you could still do worse, and it's not even a bad Pokemon. It's just 
It is a shame that you can't really take advantage of his psychic type very well. Nothing much else to say. And the last new Pokemon you can find with this is with the Sinnoh sound is Chadot. Chadot is rather a special normal flying type, to say the least. It's it's got good special attack. Its stats are very good though otherwise. And uh, quite frankly, like it is quite outclassed by some other flying types because physical attacking birds are really good to use overall, but Alright, let me talk about the one thing Chadot does have though, and that's a signature move, Chatter. A 60 power special flying type move with 100 accuracy, and a chance to confuse. And how is the chance to confuse to be determined, you ask? It is based- okay. And whenever you're about to use the move, you're going to give Chadot a sound for it to remember in battle. And the louder the sound it is, the more likely you'll be able to confuse. There's a low, medium, and high chance of confusion. 1%, 11%, and 31% respectively, based on how loud you are. The idea is to scream as loud as you can on the sound, and then you'll get the 31% chance to confuse. But, unfortunately, like I said, its stats aren't very good, and it's outclassed by some other flying types, but at the very least you got that to deal with. Quite frankly, I don't really recommend it. It is a special Pokemon, but like, both its abilities like us are also not very helpful. I don't know, I just can't recommend Chadow much, to be honest. It is a shame I'm being a bit negative on these Pokemon, but it is true to be honest. Some of these Pokemon are just way better than others. And now with the Hoenn sound, we can look for some Pokemon that are Hoenn. They're gonna be low level here, and their levels are based on where you are. Do I have to repel on? No way. Oh, I have to go upstairs. What am I doing? Oh, come on. I turn off the. <sighs> I wanna show this off. That's all. I just want to show it off. I'm being honest, you can find these Pokemon. I don't have Dig anymore. Okay. Once we have the radio on, we can find Hoenn Pokemon. I don't know if it's 100% chance, but it is possible to find Zigzagoon Spinda. I'm just showing this off. See? Zigzagoon. And they're low level because they're in the low level area. That's why I recommend going to high level areas. Like... Uh, Bell Tower for these two Pokemon respectively to get a high level Pokemon. I don't know. I'm just proving that you can get these guys. I'm not gonna pick one any of these up because low level Pokemon don't really matter to me. Yeah. I just want to show that off. And since we're also in Violet City, there is an, uh, another feature we have we can with the National Dex. Where is it? Here it is. On Mary and Oak channels, now we have Swarm Pokemon that we can deal with. And there are quite a lot of Swarm Pokemon, but not in every route. And there's one of them. I'll go over it in a bit. However, these Swarm Pokemon are changed every day. And that's the only way you can determine what your Swarm Pokemon is today. I'll go over Ralts when I get to Route 34. But there is a Swarm Pokemon you can find while surfing here. And that is Wishcash. Or Whiskash, my bad. Whiskash is a... Uh, Water ground type. Let's look at that. A good type defensively. Good bulk. Good HP. Alright, offensive stats. Learns Earthquake to level up. Fissure as well. And it works as a solid mixed attacker. Waterfall Surfer good uses, though I prefer Surf because it's a uh, strong move to Waterfall, but I wouldn't blame you. And also hits hard with Ice moves. Really, this is a solid Pokemon. If Quagsire didn't interest you because it's strictly, it's mostly a physical attacker, but without Ice Punch and no avalanche, then Whiskash will do better as being a water ground type. It's got solid moves. Really, I just can't say anything bad about it. Okay, its abilities aren't very good, to be honest. They're pretty bad. However, that doesn't stop it from being at least a workable water ground type. Obviously, is isn't the best one out there, but you cannot do any, but it is, you can't do bad with the type in general. It's good. And if you want Barboach, you got the breed. So is Whiskash done? We're gonna fly to Route, 30, uh, Route 34 and, t and see what the swarm is. Though so you guys just saw it. And really, somebody wants to rematch me there already. Yeah, I might as well take care of it. Because really, I'm planning to not do the bug catching contest until uh, the next episode. I'll go over the Sinnoh Sound Pokemon when I get to Kanto, basically, or all the other whole the Sinnoh Sound Pokemon when I get to Kanto in new areas. I don't know. I just want to get those other ones out of the way because the towers are only in Johto. Camperton wants to rematch, but before I rematch him, 
Ralts is commonly found here, and I'll go over Ralts. Ralts is a very popular psychic type family Pokemon for obvious reasons. As a Ralts, it doesn't start off with many good. Oh, Bulba wanted to call us. Hold up, before we get this done now. Bulba's calling us because now we got the natural decks. He wants us to go to Safari Zone so we can basically go take our Safari Zone thing. I'm gonna plan to take care of that post game, believe it or not. But back to Ralts. Ralts is a very popular second type because it doesn't start off with very good moves in the start. Or, well, back in Gen 3, it didn't start off with very good moves, but it has a bit of workable moves. It doesn't teleport, so I recommend using a quick ball as fast as possible. But at the very least, it does have at least, like, good moves later on because when it evolves in Curly, it gets a couple more moves, but still a bit weak. If you. Okay, it does have a split of evolution when, as a Curly, when it gets a Curly, you get a split evolution. Male and female Ralts can become Gardevoir level 30 with special, good special attack, good move pull, like sh with Shadow Ball being a special move it can take advantage of, Thunderbolt, and through level up, it gets Wish through Heart Scales. Pretty solid Pokemon, it also gets a good user Call Mind. Really, just a solid Pokemon to say the least. I can't really say much else about it other than if you didn't like Alakazam or Espeon, Gardevoir's here. A fortunate thing about it is... What is it? Oh yeah. Uh, Hypnosis is learnable at like, around level 61. Yeah, that hurts a bit. And Focus Blast is another good move to give it. I'm pretty sure it can learn Grass Mountain Energy Ball, I have no idea, but that's another thing as well. Male, Ra male Curlias, however, have the advantage of becoming a Gallade. Why is that? Because Gallade is a physical Gardevoir with good moves as well. And through Heart Scales, this thing gets... Night Slash, Leaf Blade, and eventually learn Psycho Cut, which is a really good move. Its ability, Steadfast, isn't very good if you ask me, but like you can't really do much else, or you can't really blame it for having a bad ability when it's got good physical attack. And also, I'm trying to think what else, uh, good fighting, uh, it does learn close combat at around level 50, 50 something, I think, level 53, I want to say, I don't know. It's a pretty good Pokemon. And if you're looking for a physical psychic type you don't use often, Galay can be a good option. Just one little warning is you can... A Dawnstone is attainable to you through Bucketty Contest now or at the end of the game. It's sad, but true. And it has to be a, raw, a male. Yeah. With that done, let's go and counter one for reasons. I don't know why. I just want to catch one because I like Ralts. You are not a Ralts. Go away. Forever. Please. Hooray, I found one! Level 10. Oh, level 10. Oh, that's gonna take a while to evolve. And it's female, I don't care. I just wanna catch one because I, I think it's cool to have one. And why not go around the world? This thing has teleport and it's low level than I thought, so... Quick bullet. I'm used to black and white where they're really high level swarms. Easy. I just wanted to catch it because reasons I like waltz. There are the swarm Pokemon I can go over that have already gone over that are more commonly found swarms. Snubble, Meryl, Ditto, all those Pokemon I got over before that are rare. Like 1%, there you go, you can find swarms. I'm not gonna nickname them all, I just wanna catch one because... Like Meryl is a, is a swarm encounter in Mount Mortar. Ditto is a is a swarm encounter in Route 47, if I'm correct. Remoraid is a swarm encounter at Route 44, you know, the team member I used I got very lucky with. And... Snubbles a swarm encounter in Route 38, and there are quite a few others that I'm forgetting of. I don't know if it like it's about that rare. Oh, Dunsparce a swarm encounter at Dark Cave, but really you can find it through Rock Smash a lot more easier. So what's the point? And then there are a couple more that I'm forgetting of probably, but there are at least two more swarm encounters I have to go over. Well, I think it's just two more. I'm trying to think what other swarm encounters there are that I haven't gotten over yet. But first, before we do that, let's go, Todd. I'll take care of the bug catching contest next episode. Safari Zone, Battle Frontier will be in post game. That's my plan. And, oh, that's lovely. Ground is just poison, so I'm gonna use Bite. It lived, really? Oh, Rock though doesn't scare me. I know there's, I know one more Swarm encounter you can find in this region, though. I'm trying to think of another one. There were at least two more that I don't remember now. That's sad. Oh, he has three Pokemon, jeez. 
I'm gonna bite. I'm not scared of a level 33 Graveler. I'm gonna keep using bite. I'm not scared. No fear. Okay, no fear still. No fear. Super effective, so what? I'm not scared. Dead. I need to get Acrobat to level up. Golduck? Oh yeah, definitely not scared. I'm trying to see what other swarm encounters there are. Wish Cash, Waltz. There's two more. Well, I know one of them already. I can go to Route, route 43, if I'm correct, has a swarm encounter. And there's one more I'm forgetting. I forget what it is. It's sad. I don't know why I don't remember. And Confusion could do some damage, but it's not Stab. There's one more. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, now I remember. Okay, I remember. I'm gonna go over Route 43 when I get there next. And you have a Slugma, huh? This is like the first time I've seen a Slugma this whole game because you don't find them in Johto. You can only, with that egg only, like that one egg that Primo has, the only way to get a Slugma before Elite Four. And even then, it's just a Slugma. You wanna know where you can get, you can get Slugma in, in Kanto otherwise. It's sad. Really sad. What can you do? Able with Harden, Slugma's quite frail. Dead. Oh, we leveled up, right? Give me money. All right, mother. All right, we're gonna go to fly, we're gonna fly Route 43 now. See you guys there. Okay, so Route 43. I know, uh, obviously, I'm not gonna encounter, it, but like, I just wanted to mention the swarm encounter in this area. It's Swablu. Looking at it, you might think it's just a generic normal flying type, and it's as adorable Pokemon as it is, it evolves into a dragon type. You know, one of the few dragon types I'm gonna be able to go over this whole game. Well, there are a couple more dragon types since Gym 4, obviously, but like, I'm not gonna get a chance to go over a majority of them. But here's one of them I can go over. As a Squall Blue, it doesn't le very learn many good moves. And when it evolves in Ataria, it becomes a dragon flying type, which, you know, is in the. Quite me the ice, but you gotta admit, it's got some solid special defense. And that's what this thing is. Well, it is definitely weaker than majority of dragon types. I don't think it's a bad Pokemon because it's a good type, solid offensive stats, n n not really, like it's workable, got good defenses, and a really good ability in Natural Cure. Really, I recommend giving it some mixed attacking moves. Why is that? It learns Dragon Dance, it does learn Dragon Pulse thankfully, and Sky Attack for a long time so you're better off just using Fly, and it also learns, what else, Ice Beam and Flamethrower. Ice Beam is a bit redundant though to be honest. And Flamethrower is a good move to counter... What does it really counter well against? Other Ice types? Oh, uh, yeah, Ice types. What am I thinking? You want Flamethrower in this thing because of that. Dragon Dance is one of the few things saving it, though, I will say. And then Steel Wing as another alternative and Iron Tail and Solar Beam, but really, that's about it. Solar Pokemon, even with the less good stats compared to most dragons and quite outclassed, but I still think it's at least workable. If you don't have a Flying type, that is. So with that done, I'm actually gonna go to a different route to do one more rematch, it looks like, and see you guys there in a bit. Ooh, it's a calm nature, that's cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I just realized I wanna actually grab a, oh, do you don't have teleport? Okay, that's not hard to train, and that's a pretty good nature, actually, because it doesn't use its physical attack. Oh, that's only good for a Gardevoir, but it's a female anyway, so it can't become a Gallade. I need to grab to no, not Togepi, uh, Sentry. I need to grab Sentry. I'll be, uh, I'm gonna meet you guys at a rematch. I'm actually gonna go head back to like a Rage. You'll see why. Cause it's a Wednesday, so I need to go see, uh, Wesley again. See you guys a bit. Of course it's you! Literally, I spent 10 minutes trying to find this guy, cause all the hikers look the same. It's Perry the Platypus. And it's Onyx, level 38. Okay, uh, sure. I'm 11 levels higher than you, and I'm definitely not fast. Okay, I'm faster than you. Cool. You're dead. I rearranged my items back to where they were, except that I kept the Quick Claw on Mary because I feel like I'm gonna need the Quick Claw. I will need it anyway later on. That's just my reasoning. And Graveler, what level is it? 30, uh, 35, that's like nothing. Dead. Next. So now I'm gonna go ahead and like a rage after this, after this, like, you know, interaction. Because I realized I need to actually take care of the Day of the Week people again so I can get their items. Because I didn't do it for Sunny or Monica or yeah, I need to do that, I realized, so... Oh, thanks for the iron, I'm gonna give it to somebody. 
Uh, so I'm gonna see you guys in a couple of weeks now. All right, there you are. Give me a ribbon. Downcast ribbon, cool. I'm gonna need to pick up the others later on in this Let's Play. So I need to remember that myself. And I also need to remember to go to Union Cave on my own uh, sometime, because I need to get the whole thing and the Waterstone thing still. I'll take care of that eventually. And now, the final round before we see, before we go, no rematches, right? No rematches, right? All right, good. All right, we're gonna go to Route 27 now, and it's not gonna take long because there's a swarm encounter on Route 27 while surfing. And this one might be important, not really, because I'm about to rant here. But while surfing on Route 27, not New Bark Town, Route 27, this is important. Look around, 27. While surfing this round of swarms, you can find the Pokemon uh, Love Disc. Why is it a swarm encounter? I have no idea. And this Pokemon is utter garbage. The stats are awful. Water type is not a bad defensive type, but really, it's got good speed. But and swift. Okay, it's got good speed, swift swim, and agility. But really, what's it gonna do with the speed when its offensive stats are bad? Its defense and HP stats are horrible, and its move pool is beyond trash. Like really. Okay, in honor to Connor's tradition, I'm, I'm actually going to do this on top of my head, but I'm just hoping I got this right. But I'm going to read Smogin- I'm going to- I'm going to recite Smogin's description of Love Disc in the Diamond and Pearl section. We'll take a generic water type, give me crummy stats everywhere except for, except for speed, give him a trait that doubles his speed and rain, boosts his agility, and uh, yeah, good speed. And call it a day. Love this is great at using as uh, great for battle timeouts because it presents to cause your opponent to laugh at it so long and you win the match. Really? Oh, and Charm turns scatter as uh, into a very Charm turns love disc into a very sturdy wall that can survive two Caterpie tackles and forces to switch out. Really, this Pokemon is just bad. Only good for hard skill grinding. Why would you use this otherwise? Okay, I maybe should have gotten a bit more, but really I can't say much else. And also, oh, we can't even fly back to these areas now because we're in... Now because we're able to go to Kanto, we can't fly to these areas. In order to fly to... Uh, in order to fly to Kan- and Jodo, we need to go all the way here in order to fly back. It's dumb, but it's true. In order to go to Jodo, we have to go back to Embark Town, or we have to fly all the way back to here, and then fly back to Johto. It's really dumb. See? That's in order to fly back there, you have to do that. But if we go to these routes, we can't fly to Johto. So with the, as the swarm's done, and a bit of Sinnoh stuff done, I'm gonna fly to the, I'm gonna head to you guys at the Buckhatchee contest, and hope we can take care of the Sinnoh stuff. Well, a bit, show off a bit of Sano stuff and the bucket catching contest as well. And I need it to be Thursday because you can only access the po National Dex Pokemon on Thursdays and Saturdays, not Tuesdays. And Tuesdays is the normal one. So I'm going to go to bucket catching contest. See you guys. Oh, no. I'm going to stay here in the next episode tomorrow. Otherwise, it's been Ludicolo Fatigue. See you guys next time for our Pokemon Hardcore. We'll, we'll hopefully take care of more stuff than we did in this episode because this one was just quite short. I don't know, I just can't really say much else. Hopefully we get to show off the budget catching costumes quite well, so later.